Because again, they live in a virtual reality. They walk up yesterday and say, even had it on tape, they go, you say nothing was real at Charlotte, it was actors. And I went, I never said that. I said they've been caught hiring actors, crisis actors before to go stir up stuff. Little did I know they'd actually hired them for Charlottesville, official Craigslist, official websites, official companies that have been around for over a decade. Little did I know that even their fake news about me became true. They're so bad. No wonder they were so upset about the actor statement because it was on target. They wanted to hit it first to then say it was made up and get that fake news out first. Uh, so there's, there's a bunch of other companies. But, but the point is they say, we're going to Charlottesville uh, and we're hiring people to agitate. I, and then their people are there and then I'm wrong. And then I just said, we should investigate actors. There's been actors before. Sometimes I've, it's crazy. I've been at Nazi rallies uh, covering it, and you'll actually see guys that you later learn are FBI informants and Jewish leaders and Jewish community people dressed up as Nazis and like stuff I think they probably got in the back lot at, uh, you know, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, it's literal like Hollywood outfits, brown shirt outfits that haven't been around since like 1933. And you see this, and it's just like, it's, it's like you know a commercial for Pepsi. You know it's not a documentary. And you, you go to these events, and it's like, dude, the Grand Dragon looks, you know, like he's uh, Howard Stern. I mean, and people say, well, how does Howard Stern look? You know how Howard Stern looks. Grand Dragon looks like Howard Stern. I mean, I, and then it comes out, the guy's a fed, and it's all fake. And, then, and, then, and we've got the videos online. You can go research it for yourself, and, you know, it, it's all come out. And, and I'm defending Israel, and I'm not against Jews in general. I'm against the leftist whether they be black, white, Hispanic, Jewish, old, young, Christian, Muslim that are staging attacks and putting poop swastikas on the walls and burning crosses in front yards and burning black churches and in 99 plus percent of the cases, literally, I can't think of cases where it's real except for Charlottesville because they got some real white supremacists to actually come out to the event. It's true you didn't say Jewish actors staged uh, Charlottesville, but we do have crisis actors clearly confirmed now. We've done videos on this from other events around the country confirmed as actors uh, they're part of the event. Uh, so, Gary Haven, let's talk about that. Uh, but we know that um, uh, there were crisis actors involved in this thing. Uh, in, in Zero Hedge, for example, uh, here's an article today. Uh, uh, now, the discovery of Craigslist ad posted last Monday, almost a four, full week before the Charlottesville protests, is raising new questions over whether paid protesters were sourced by Los Angeles-based public relations firm specializing in innovative events to serve as agitators in counter protests. And your listeners can go to um, the website of this company. It's called crowdsondemand.com. And uh, they're going to find that uh, they were hiring people, paying them $25 an hour uh, to agitate. And so uh, uh, here's the evidence. And, and, and this isn't uh, unusual. This is usually available between all and by of the, the way guys click happened. on talent click on talent you can see photos of these people and then our reporters days ago i i, I know i saw this monday when i left well we're actually syncing up photos uh millie weaver and gavin had already shown this to me uh, gavin wentz we're showing people from other events with the actors it's them they're there yeah so so you, you know you're part about uh actors which i think they took and they stretched into the sold information that was inaccurate. Well, the part about the actors is valid, and I think it's important. It helps us to understand that uh, there are people that are actually planning these events. Uh, there were about a 1,000 protesters, and only about 100 were white supremacists, and the other 100 were the Antifa and the Black Lives Matter. So a couple hundred people, uh, many of whom were paid actors, uh, had a script to play. That has led into this now. Show. The more one examines the events of Charlottesville, uh, anyone who's an experienced political operative who understands agit prop, uh, things begin to seem quite fishy. Um, I don't deny that there probably were a few uh, neo Nazis and Klansmen interspersed through the mob for authenticity. But all this has the absolute feel of, a, uh, of an astroturf effort 
by the Soros ops. Jason Kessler, who appears to be the chief organizer, is identified now as a white supremacist, but not very long ago, he was an ardent Obama supporter and working in the Occupy demonstrations. Um, I still have my investigation uh, underway, but others with key ties who are allegedly now uh, Klansmen or skinheads or neo-Nazis have very strange recent activities of activism, I should say, on the political left. Then what are we to make of the uh, Craigslist ad that was found in Charlottesville soliciting actors for an outside drama? Uh, this is beginning to be precisely what WikiLeaks showed us happened in the campaign, where George Soros and his ilk uh, financed guerrilla operations and dirty tricks operations to foment violence at the Trump rallies so that Trump could be blamed for the violence. That's precisely what is going on in Charlottesville.